up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Venomine Figs here, and today we are here hitting your subscription box with a very awesome video. And I know you guys love these ones because I know sure as hell that these are my favorite videos that I post on my channel. Guys, I, first off, got new lights. So, this should be really good. I mean, dude, I want to show you, but then all the figures are right there, so I'll show you maybe at the end of the video. So, I got new lights, and it's amazing. They look so good, and I hope that now the videos are going to be so much better. It's going to look like it's daytime all the time. That kind of rhymes. I'm such a legend. Anyways, guys, this is Tips and Tricks Part 5. And I love tips and tricks, and I hope you guys do too. These are things that I've seen around or that I've made up myself or that I got from my friends. So I'm so excited. And some of these things I hope are going to help you in your figures to make them even better. And I hope you learn a little something. At the end of the video, you guys need to tell me what was your favorite tip and trick. Without further ado, we got a butt ton of figures, dude. I have been saving up and trying to come up with new ideas. Been seeing a ton of ideas. I've seen my friends make ideas. And I wanted to definitely do them, so let's get started, and there's a lot. Next up, we have one inspired by my friend AWF Wrestling. Definitely go check him out. I love his pick fed, and he's such a great friend. Um, I got this idea from his recent show that he posted. He, I don't know what he got, but what I did was I got the Elite 54 Jey Uso, and what I did was I just took off the little jacket and put it on this awesome Elite Tyson kid, and it looks really good, man. I love it. It's sick. Speaking of the Usos, what I did was I got the Jimmy Uso. I don't know if I, I've probably already shown this, that I've swapped the head scan with the Battle Pack Jimmy Uso. Um, so, yeah. So, that looks awesome. Painted up by BEW and removed face paint. So, what I did was I got the newer Defining Moments John Cena. And I swapped on the little tank top that they have. And something funny that I really didn't realize was whoever... I don't know who mentioned this, but you're a genius. This has 54 on it. Um, and on the back, this figure comes from Elite 54. So he's kind of representing his series with the 54. I don't know, something funny I just wanted to point out. But thank you to that subscriber that pointed it out. Shout out to you, man. I hope you know who you are. So, yeah, and awesome. I've never seen anyone do this. It's so much better than the red one, personally. I love this. Speaking of Blue Tista, I don't know how come I haven't even shown this one. I've done this for almost a couple months now. All I did was I got the Blue Tista figure, and I got that red Batista basic, and I just swapped the head scans. I wasn't a fan of the Blue Tista head scan, so I wanted to swap on this Balder head scan, and it looks really good. This next idea comes from Mike the Wrestling Collector. Before he quit collecting wrestling figures, he wanted to do this idea, so I took it. I'm sorry, Mike, but thank you so much for the idea, bro. Um, so he his favorite uh Sami Zayn Elite was the Elite 40. If this if I'm correct, yeah, 40. This is Elite 40, Sami Zayn, and honestly, it's one of my favorites. I don't think any other Sami Zayn guys can beat it. I'm sorry. But I got that recent Elite 51 Sami Zayn, and I swapped on that head, and I love this head scan so much. Personally, my favorite one. I do love a little expression, but I'm not a fan of the expression faces, just because it doesn't work for promos and matches. They just don't work for me. But I love this head scan so much, and I swapped it on. It looks a little big, but you kind of get used to it over time. And then I took off the ooh, I took off the knee pads and I swapped on the Elite 51 boots. Now there is a difference actually. The Elite 40 doesn't have this little white line you're seeing. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a white line right here throughout the whole entire boot. And I was a big fan of that and I think I just said a little extra detail that I would love to have on my Sami Zayn. And it looks awesome. I love it. Recommend you guys doing it. Haven't even seen anyone do this. It's kind of like an original idea that Mike came up with. So I took it. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can use it because... I must say, such an amazing Sami Zayn now. Next up, we have the best wrestler on the whole entire planet, Neville, my favorite. You guys should already know that. Guys, what I did was, and many people have done this, but I wanted to do it so bad. This Neville did not come with these armbands, and it's so pathetic. Mattel, what are you doing? How can you not have a Neville without the damn armbands? What are you doing, guys? Come on. So, all I did was I got the Boogeyman Elite 48, and I there was something on his, like, near his elbow. These, like, black, this on his elbow. So, I just slid them right off, and I s just slid them onto my Neville, and, uh, dude, it looks awesome. It's now completely accurate, and it's a Mattel-made accessory. Um, literally takes notes, and you can probably go on Amazon. It's probably on sale right now, if for, maybe. I don't know. I wouldn't guarantee. But... 
really awesome and they, they're not loose at all they're really tightly on there you have to like push down a bit for it to really slide but it stays on there very well and i recommend everyone doing it this figure is getting a little rare to find which makes me nervous because um i want more than one so yeah, really awesome. And guys, I'm sorry, I can't stress it. I love my lighting. It turned out so much better. Tell me, did this lighting help the videos or no? Come on, gotta tell me down below. Next up, we have the Elite 53 Heat Slater. Now I did indeed pick this up just cause I didn't have a Heat Slater and I just wanted to get him out of the roster. So all that I did that I've never seen anyone do, I got the Diamond Dallas Page Elite 36 uh, jacket. You can even get your Elite 38 Adam Rose jacket and swap it on probably works a lot better anyways, but so yeah I don't have that so I just have this to work with and I love the blue inside I still have yet to ask to tone this off But all that I did was I put that jacket put some glasses on it and it looks like a promo attire or backstage Heat Slater next up. We have a Daniel Bryan elite fix up biggest credit goes to wrestling hero fix for this idea He did this first and honestly I fell in love with what he did I don't know if he put it on this one though, because I can't really remember, but I did, and I absolutely love it. This is my favorite Daniel Bryan attire that he's ever worn, and honestly, his best moment and my favorite moment in wrestling history. I must say, I just love it so much. And so if Daniel Bryan were to come back today, he would look like this with this awesome battle pack, Daniel Bryan and Miz head scan. I had to get two because one, I wanted a general manager version. And I wanted to have one head to swap onto a wrestling attire one. And it looks so nice. The neck is a little long. It kind of looks like that. But you have more articulation to look down and even side to side movement. And I love that so much. And it looks really nice, guys. I must say. Definitely recommend you guys trying to get a hold of that Daniel Bryan. Swapping the heads. I did also swap it to my torso crack fix up that I got from Mike. It didn't work. The torso was way too big for this head. I tried it on this one. It looks awesome and I, I'm in love with it. Let's put on the shirt. Woo! Yes, indeed. See what I... Okay, I'm sorry. But it looks really good. I, I love it. I'm just saying. It's, it's awesome. Next up, we have an Elite Enzo and More fix up. Nothing is with the figure. It's actually an accessory that you need to put on it to make it look really nice. I'll show you that in a moment. So guys, what I saw, I don't remember who did this. I just came across a subscriber's Instagram account or someone, I don't remember. And I saw them do a little something, which I'll show right now. Um, it's pure genius. I've never seen anyone do it. And I think it's really smart that they did this. And I hope that it inspires you to do it too, because it works. I'll show you right now. So what they did was they got the Daniel Bryan shirt, which I recently just showed. This comes from the Elite 38 Daniel Bryan, if you are wondering. They put it backwards, guys. And I'm telling you right now, this accessory that came with this was a little jersey. Didn't work. It's too hard of plastic to even go around. Looks weird from here. But then they did this. And guys, I must say, guys, this is a genius idea. I have no idea who did this. And I really can't say sorry enough to that person that did this. It looks like Enzo really is wearing that shirt. And it's so nice. And I love it. And it, it's so accurate. And I love that. And I hate Enzo. <laughs> Enzo sucks. But then also I came up with the idea to get the Defining Moments John Cena hat and put it backwards on this head scan, which I did indeed swap, if you're wondering. This attire came with a faded head scan, like the faded uh, sides. I like the cheetah print, so I got that Network Spotlight Basic and I swapped it onto this and it looks so nice. So this is how it looks with the backwards hat. And I think, guys, this is really like the ultimate Enzo Amore, you could say. It, it's so genius that I've never seen anyone do this, and I hope now it's gonna inspire some people to do it. Again, so sorry to the guy that did this, guys. I'm sorry that I can't remember your name. All credit goes to you, though, who did this. I hope you're watching and you know who you are. I'm sorry again. This next tip and trick is my personal favorite one. BEW and I were on PS4, and we were talking about this, and I cannot even say how much I love this. I just cannot take these accessories off of this figure. Austin Aries, ladies and gentlemen, he wears fuzzy, furry jackets, and they're usually pink. There was a pink one. Now, there is no pink one of this, but there's a blue one from the Then Now Forever Tyler Breeze Elite Series 1 from that set. And what we came up with was swap on these glasses onto the Austin Aries. First off, biggest shout out to BEW for repainting this Austin Aries head scan. Um... We got the glasses, we even got this little D Tyler Breeze, which I just said, the Tyler Breeze coat, and I got a Lego banana, and I just put it on it. Guys, I'm telling you, this is like an epic promo attire. 
Austin Aries. I don't know how come no one has even came up with this, but it's pure genius. You gotta do it. As for the last tip and trick, guys, what I got was, these are all AJ Styles fix-ups, by the way. All I did was I got the Elite Ryback. I, it's an older one. I don't really remember. I'll pop a picture up of it right here. And I got the knee pads from it, and I put it on my Elite 51 AJ Styles, just because AJ wears knee pads. And not my personal favorite AJ Styles over here. This is probably my least favorite AJ that we've gotten. But I wanted to put knee pads on it because at the end of the day, it's AJ Styles, and I love AJ Styles. I mean, dude, can you not tell? Jesus Christ, I made that damn thing myself. So, I love him a lot, and I want to get that painting signed one day. Gotta get that signed, boy! So, awesome AJ right here. I love it with the knee pads. Looks so nice. Then, oh, this is my favorite one right here. We got the Elite 47, the first time in the line AJ Styles, with an Elite 51 jacket. So, all that I did was, I've seen many people do this, but people do not know where these knee pads come from. Some say Santino, some say this, some say that. I say... I got mine from the Defining Moments Ric Flair. I got two of them, first off. Why do I have two? One, I got retail price. Second, I got from Target for 10 bucks. I needed that thing for parts. And, dude, this right here is such an amazing fix-up. And he, it's accurate. The attire isn't. But him wearing these knee pads, he's worn it. Let me put up a little funny video for you guys to watch right here. Yeah, I, I think it's awesome, isn't it? Anyways, so he has worn these knee pads and I love them so much. It makes it look so nice and it works. Again, Defining Moments Ric Flair knee pads, this is where I got it from. Of course, I would say open knee pads, get those ones. Those are probably much better. But even the color matches, man, and it looks so nice and it's my personal favorite. The next one, I cannot believe I have this. And you will see this in a future Danny Toy Time. This AJ didn't come with knee pads and it is my personal favorite AJ. First off, dude, my favorite color is blue and white and purple and red. So, any figure that has those colors, yeah, dude, you got my attention. So, blue is my favorite color, by the way. And so what I did was I got Stone Cold knee pads and I swapped them onto this. And this is indeed accurate because let me show you a picture right here. At a match at Fastlane last year or something, I don't remember, maybe I'm being stupid. I'm probably being stupid right now. But he wore this attire with open black knee pads and I'm just trying to make it accurate and especially since it's my favorite AJ, whatever's my favorite AJ will get the treatment of my favorite knee pads. I'm telling you that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this video. Guys, tell me down below which one is your favorite tip and trick. My personal favorite is indeed the Austin Aries. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all so much. Peace out, guys. And I did say that I am going to be showing my lights. I got these from Target, if you are wondering. $7.99 for both these lights. Are you kidding me right now? Look at these guys. Jesus Christ. My whole freaking ring is just...